It's 651 and right now we are continuing to follow breaking news of a partial bridge collapse in Baltimore. And we want to take you out live to the situation right now, now that we're a little brighter outside. We're looking at the Francis Scott Key Bridge, which stretches 1.6 miles. And for reference, that's roughly the distance between Moline City Hall to Bettendorf City Hall. And police say at around 1.30 Eastern this morning, a cargo ship struck the bridge. ABC's Ike Jachi has the latest. Breaking news this morning from Baltimore, Maryland, where police say there's been a partial bridge collapse. The scene is the Francis Scott Key Bridge, which has apparently been hit by a container ship. The middle section of the bridge collapsed into the water, and there are unknown amounts of people and or vehicles in the water. Video being shared online overnight shows the massive steel structure and multiple vehicles falling into the Patapsco River. Fire officials say one vehicle is as big as a tractor trailer. Multiple people also fell into the water. Part of the bridge that collapsed actually fell on top of the ship. We're told overnight work was being done on the bridge. Maryland authorities confirm all lanes of traffic are closed in both directions. This is going to have ramifications, not just for today, tomorrow, next week or next month, but for possibly years to come. The bridge opened in 1977 and carries Interstate 695 over the river, which is a busy shipping area. Ike Jachi, ABC News, Baltimore. So far, two people have been rescued this morning, and Maryland's governor has declared a state of emergency following this incident, and the mayor of Baltimore says this is an ongoing active search, and we have to be thinking about the families and those impacted. And stay with News 8 as we continue following this story, and you can see our complete coverage on the News 8 app and on the WQAD YouTube page.